Good afternoon, this is Sean Golding with Golding & Golding here just to do a quick update of something that happened in the recent case of Schwartzbaum that may impact taxpayers across the globe with willful FBAR penalties. Now, in the case of Schwartzbaum, taxpayer was hit with willful FBAR penalties. There was a lot of back and forth about the penalty itself, a statute of limitations, uh, lots of different issues, okay, how the penalty was calculated. Uh, taxpayer ended up getting hit with millions of dollars of penalties, and they were willful. The court said that the taxpayer was willful. The court agreed with the IRS's assessment that the taxpayer was willful. When you have willful FBAR penalties, you get hit with 50% maximum value of the unreported account. So let's just say there's an account with $5 million in it. You don't report that. 50% penalty is, is $2.5 million, which is absurd, right? But the way it's written is it's 50% maximum value or $100,000, whatever's higher. So with a lot of the accounts, yeah, they were way above, um, they were millions of dollars. And so 50% is going to be above 100000 But take an account that has like twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Okay. You can get a 50% penalty would be six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000. But the way that the statute, the statute and the regulation is written, essentially you start at $100,000, which is absurd. Okay, To get a $100,000 penalty on an account that you had $15,000 in, it's, um, it's like a 700% increase, right? And so uh, in another case, Toth, which was in the, I believe, the first circuit. It's the first and 11th circuit that we're talking about, okay? In that circuit, the court had said, nah, they're remedial in nature. Eighth Amendment doesn't apply. The dissent, um, which was good, basically said, hey, that, that's absurd because you're not basing it on any specific amount that's, that's unreported, as in like there's certain income and taxes that should have been filed and reported, you're just basically saying it's 50%. And so that's punitive. You're, 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 it, it's punitive in nature. Okay. And in Schwartzbaum, the current case, the court agreed with that dissent, basically, and they refer to it and they basically say, look, if you have $15,000 in an account and you're getting hit with a $100,000 penalty that is so far removed from the violation that it's, it's not to compense, it's, it's punitive. It's to punish the individual for willfully not reporting it. And so now there's a split in the circus. But in, and in this case, taxpayer had like $13, $14 million in penalties. I think just using this application of the Eighth Amendment brought it down a couple hundred thousand dollars, which is not much relative to the entire penalty. But for other taxpayers, especially um, those who may have smaller value accounts, but they're willful, it can have a huge impact, right? Let's just say you're, you're not even intentional, right? Reckless disregard, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you didn't. Right? Life got in the way, but you kind of knew you should have done it. And so, yeah, $30,000 in the account, 50% uh, penalty would be $15,000. Instead, you get dinged with $100,000, and it adjusts for inflation, so it could be higher than that. Um, so this is a great ruling for taxpayers who are found to be willful. Uh, there's a split in the circus, and we'll, we'll see what's next to come. My name is Sean Golding with Golding & Golding. Thank you for your time.